All right, here we are back again in the workshop, which is slightly more clean, well, significantly more clean than last couple times. Still a mess, but whatever. And we got a dig bug board. Dug, uh, this dug, dig dug board has no sound. And I can coin it up. If you hit re listen really closely, you can just hear... You're not going to probably hear it, but it's just really tiny. You can actually hear the sounds playing. Um, and that's a good sign, actually. That's very... Um, that means basically probably everything is working except for the final stage of sound output, which is very easy to replace. Um, on these Atari boards, a lot of boards, there is a chip called an LM324 or a TL82 or 84, I don't remember. Um, they're both the same thing, but one is double. It's, it's what's called an op amp. But um, that board that's right here, that's going to be bad. Um, these, these chips go bad a lot, so if you ever are missing sound, um, before you go and you have one of these chips, these LM324, which were used a lot in, back in the 80s, and they're still used today. You, when Radio Shack was open, um, up until a couple months ago, this is 19, or 2017, you could go to Radio Shack and buy them for like 50 cents. But um, these chips go bad all the time, so we're just going to replace this. Alright, so here we are again. We've replaced the, we put a socket in there, removed the old chip. Here, you can throw that out. And uh, put a socket in a new chip. And that sounds much, much better. So that was a quick fix. Um, but that's the first thing to look at if you have a, a, ch a board with an LM324 is just replace it. Don't even troubleshoot the other stuff. Um, because, especially if you can hear at the very slightest, the sounds coming out, because that's almost always the problem. These ships go bad a lot. Um, so, all right. See ya.